Okay, this is my um, video for a Tasmoto with simulated deep sleep. Now, this video is not a good quality. Don't expect Dr. Z type video. But I'm hoping that um, the idea might be useful to somebody. Um, I started off wanting to same old thing as ordinary or always. I wanted to monitor my greenhouse temperature but I had no power out there and um, I wanted to use Tasmoto and of course Tasmoto has got no deep sleep so I decided to try and set up this simulated deep sleep which seems to work quite well. So okay so to start with you've got the two solar panels well you can use one solar panel with about a 6 volt output I've got two here in series. They are then connected to a small um, lithium battery regulator so uh, the solar panel voltage input goes on the in and I've got my battery lithium battery on the battery connection and on, on the output I have got my um, simulated Tasmoto setup on my ESPO1 okay so all it is in effect is um, a ESPO1 connected to a 555 timer and a relay and what happens is when you first put the power on the 555 timer isn't operating the relay after 15 minutes I've got it just set here for about um, two minutes after 15 minutes the relay operates which then turns on the ESP01 the ESP01 then with MQTT sends its information to my node red the node red sees it's got the information and which is two temperatures and the battery voltage the node red then says okay I've got all the information I need and it sends the off signal back to the ESPO1. The ESPO1 is connected to the timer so the timer then resets and 15 minutes later it starts again. So with this method you have actually got 20 seconds of on at about 100 milliamps and then up to about 15 minutes of off at um, 0 0.2 milliamps. So uh, yeah, you get um, a really good long battery life out of it and from those two little solar panels that is enough to keep the battery charged up even on the uh, dimmest of days. So uh, what I have here is the, um, the circuit diagram for the ESPO1. You can see the relay contacts over here, the AMS11173 voltage regulator which you need because the lithium battery has now put up to 4 volts and uh, the ESP01 um, won't like that so it needs to be reduced to 3.3 volts so this regulator just gets operated from the relay contacts from the battery output of the regulator 3.3 volts onto the ESP01 the ESP01 has got two GPIOs set up one to the DSB 1820B uh, temperature senders on GPIO2 and the other GPIO which is 00, zero goes off to the timer board uh, 300 ohm resistor on the timer board so it doesn't discharge the capacitor too quickly at the top here you have just got the, uh, the solar panel connected to the input of the um, the uh, battery lithium battery charging module and then you've got the battery connected to the battery connections and the output goes off to the timer and also the ESP01 negative goes to the timer as well so ESP01 negative goes to the timer which connects to the um, output of the lithium module and the um, positive here goes off to the timer positive connection okay so put that to one side now we have the timer connection um, this is the timer circuit all very simple normal 555 um, timer stuff so you've got a 330 microfarad capacitor 
connected to a one meg potentiometer. I just put that in there so I could vary the timing as it was off for. 300 ohm resistor which goes off the GPIO, uh, GPIO 00. So when GPIO 00 goes low, when you get the off signal, it discharges this capacitor which turns off the 555 timer, which turns off the relay, which disconnects the um, e EPS01 and everything off. 15 minutes later, timer fires up, relay operates, ESP01 comes back on and um, all starts all over again. Okay, so I do apologise again for the video, but maybe the idea is there. So if we look at the screen now, that I've got set up here, I'm just going to move the camera. I don't know whether I can cut it afterwards, so I'm going to move it as we speak. So, up we go to my screen. Okay, so... Here we have got um, the ESP01 output. This is just a little display. So down the bottom, this is the graph of the voltage, and you'll see it goes on and off every 15 minutes. This is the graph of the two temperature senders, and this is the voltage display as well just showing how hot it is or oh, sorry it was the voltage of it 2.537 millivolts at the moment and the two outside temperatures you can probably hear the relay clicking on and off as i've got it set to just um, about one minute okay then we've got the actual node red flow all very simple stuff um you've got the um no the mqtt sensors uh, sorry the MQQT nodes just connected through normal stuff and then um, this part this node here sends MQTT to reset the the timer so the really good thing about this I think is whoops you know it's in your greenhouse you can't be bothered to go out there and you want to change the configuration on it all you need to do is to disconnect this connection here which I've removed and deploy it now when the um, ESP comes back up again it won't turn off so here we can see the ping I don't know if you can see that Okay, so it's just come back on again. It's now responding to the ping. You probably can't see that. I do apologise for this absolute rubbish video. Okay, so it's responding to the ping. If I put this link back in again and deploy it, I'll just toggle it on the um, directly. So now if the ping's gone off again in 15 minutes that ping would start again but um, <clears throat> I haven't got it set to 15 minutes at the moment just for this demonstration I've got it set to about a minute and a half uh, when the relay will reoperate <clears throat> and we'll see that ping back up come back up again um, I'm going to put <laughs> I don't know whether it's any use to anybody but I'm going to put my two circuit diagrams uh, on a link below this video and I'll also put the node red flow um, below this video as well on a link of course you will need to change your topics to match however you've got your your um, Tasmoto set up and of course you'll have to go through everything to set up your Tasmoto yourself but there is so many videos out there Dr. Z does great one. Okay, I just heard the relay click. So the it's yes, it's come back on again there. And now it's sending its information. And once that information has been received by Node Red, it's now sent the GPIO 00 high signal. 555 term up time has now turned off the Node Red. 
We can also also see this operating on um, the MQTT monitor. I'm using MQTT FX. So here you can see that um, the let me just get that down a bit more and zoom in a bit more so hopefully you've got some so you can see it a bit oops there we go okay that's about as zoom as I can get it for the moment well you might not be able to read that but it shows the power on the voltage and the two um, and uh, it should also show the temperature Okay, the temperature is actually here in this state. And then it sends the off signal, which turns it off, and it starts all over again. Okay, as I do say, I do apologise for this crap video, but, um, you know, the idea might be useful to somebody. I think this would work with, um, it'd work with anything, really. It needs just to be turned on and off. So you, you have got it going with an ESP01, which I do find pretty unreliable. But uh, you could easily use uh, ESP8266 Node MCU and have more sensors on it, and then you get your deep sleep. Because Tasmoto, as you know, doesn't have deep sleep. Okay, well, that's about it. Thanks again. Bye. Okay, there's two things I forgot to mention. The actual um, temperatures come in on the topic. Um, tele, whatever you've named your topic, and then sensor. So you can see the two temperatures there. Also, the relay board I use, which I really like using, if I look at it here, is um, this little relay board here. Okay. It has got a high low selector here, and this has to be set. You have to buy one like this, otherwise you'll need to monitor your 555 time circuit. So this has to be set to be low. So that means when the input goes low, the relay operates. And this is because with this timer circuit, let me zoom back out again. When it's doing its long period of timing, the output on pin 3 is high. So it's going to be high for 15 minutes or 10 minutes, whatever you set yours to. And then it goes low to turn on the ESP. So when this goes low, the relay board operates. And that is why you need the high-low selector on your relay board. Um, they're pretty easy to come by, but a lot of them don't have that high-low selector on it. And it is really useful if you're using 555 timer circuits because the output tends to be the wrong way around from what you want it, I find. And it saves fiddling about with transistor inverters, etc. Also, the relay that turns on the ESP01, I did try using um, a MOSFET or certain transistors, but um, I couldn't get them to switch the ESP01 on reliably because of the resistance across them, I guess. And the relay works really fine and it doesn't draw too much current. I think that's all. So um, I'll try and cut that into the video. I'm not a video person, but uh, hopefully you'll find it a little bit useful. Thanks. Bye.